just doing a little quick video. Um, the Paris Olympics start this week and as a few of my previous videos have been talking about Stephen Vanderbilt and um, I googled him this morning and um, an Australian swimmer, oh no, an Australian volleyball player, a woman, um, she's kind of hit out and said, you know, it's not my position to, what did she say? Um, it's not our position to comment on other National Olympic committees and their policies they have in place. Um, then she goes on to say, if an athlete or staff member had that conviction, they would not be allowed to be a member of our team. We have stringent policies on safeguarding within our team. And she's absolutely right. We're not talking about a drink driving offence or, you know, a drug offence or, you know, an, a drunken assault in a bar. We are talking about a grown man who flew from the Netherlands to London to get a 12 year old little girl drunk over two days and raped her. That has to be a safeguarding issue because there's going to be young kids who are looking up to him, who want to go and get his autograph, who want to go and get pictures taken with him. Is there going to be anything there to stop him from hugging them and kissing them and getting, you know, gifts off them or wanting selfies, whatever it might be? Because legally there's nothing in place. Yeah, he's on a child, he's on the sex offenders register, but in the UK, he's in Paris. We know that. The Netherlands don't give a fuck. The, uh, you know, the International Olympic Committee don't care. The Netherlands Committee don't care. And, you know, women and children's advocacy groups are speaking out saying this is just insane and it is it's insane it shouldn't be for female athletes to be pointing this out saying you know if you know there's no way in australia he'd be allowed to be part of our team it just wouldn't happen but the netherlands are fine with it They've also banned him from speaking to the press because obviously this is all coming back up and he's not even staying with all the other athletes, he's staying segregated on his own. Don't know if that's his decision or someone else's. Why is he there? It shouldn't be an issue for women's rights or, you know, children's... Um, children's centres or rape centres or charities to be drawing attention to this saying this is insane what are you doing this should be an every person issue his partner on the volleyball thing is a man has he not got an issue with the fact that his partner raped a 12 year old child repeatedly over two days and got her drunk because if he hasn't got an issue with that, there's an issue. It's just insane that this is actually going ahead. I kind of thought someone somewhere will stop it. Someone somewhere will stop it getting to this point where he is actually competing in the Olympics for a medal. And I would like to know if there is any safeguarding around him. Or can kids just come up? You know what kids are like with people that they admire? They want to hug them, they want to... But he's a paedophile. He shouldn't be anywhere near something like this. And... <laughs> the fact that he only served 12 months... I, 
I can't even begin to imagine what this little girl is going through knowing that he's still doing what he's doing because I personally I would be so angry that my life has changed forever my body feels different forever she was 12 just a little girl yeah at 12 you might be gobby you might think you know everything you don't you're a little girl I don't say that to be patronising but at 12 you are a little girl yeah you caught in between that space of being a child and starting you know to go into your teenage years but you're still a child I don't know what I, I mean obviously what he was thinking is he's a paedophile end of but these international committees and these olympic committees I don't know what they're thinking I don't know what the Netherlands justice system was thinking. I don't know what our system was thinking. Did our system think, oh yeah, we'll extradite him and he can finish his time in their prison? Not realising that he's, he's going to get out in four weeks. If there are any kids going to this, I hope to God their parents are keeping them away from him. And it disgusts me that he's got a teammate who's okay with this. It's disgusting that he's married to a woman that used to be a police officer who's got a kid with him. Who has a kid to a paedophile? Are you a sicko as well? Probably. Because no normal woman would go near a man who raped a child. Repeatedly. It's just grotesque. On every level. And I'm absolutely, I'm just fed up of it. I'm fed up of these paedophiles doing what the fuck they want to these kids, destroying these kids, and then they just get to get on with it. It's not fair. But I'm glad more and more people within the Olympics, within the athletes, are starting to speak out about how this is insane. Charities are speaking up. You know, women and children's advocacy groups are speaking up and it's like, everyone's getting ignored. I hope he breaks a leg or an arm or something, I really do. I hope he injures himself and he can never play volleyball ever again. That might make me a bit of a bitch, but I don't care. He's a paedophile nonce. He doesn't deserve to be in the Paris Olympics. Anyway, this is just a little update. Um, Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. So that.